that little black chick and oh, she turned him out. Yeah, the chick turned him out. Uh, they, what you tell you about the, the county, or did you, did you ever have any meetings with Did you ever meet Did I ever meet Ezio, or ever, ever ran into him? Yeah, I ran into him. We know you ran into him. <laughs> yeah, we ran into him, yeah. But as far as kicking it and talking, no, I ain't never kicked it with Ezio. I never, when, when, my, my whole thing was death row. It was, I was just kicking back. Some of that, some of the things that some of us was getting involved in, I mean, that that was way afterwards. Like when, when DOC, when they was just starting this shit, and like Doc, you know, this dude come and he thought he was the man because of shit. And this dude took off with us in the limo and, and tossing us up like salad in the back of the limo with tuxedos on. And... When we got out the, out, the, out the limo, he thought it was funny. So I fired on him and slid him down the limo. And when I slid him down the limo, they all oh, shell, he just, he just hit DOC. And she'll come over there like, who just hit Doc? I did it. Because I was the bread there. Yeah, the Doc and was giving him, everybody was trying to pitch in and do their thing. But hey, you, got, you got nine motherfucking bloods in the goddamn back of the seat that chucked. I mean, the limo, and, and he, he was, I mean, he took off, and you know, he was an alcoholic. Yeah, yeah, Dr. Yeah. I always laugh when people ask about the, the, the scenes in, in the, all about me, all the eyes on me movies when they go drink with the number one and the homies. Oh, that shit was so sad. Yeah. <laughs> let me, let me, let me, let me, let me enlighten y'all on something. If, if y'all watch that movie, the, the movie pissed me off so bad because Trayton them ain't never hung and kicking and coughing like that. Those dudes, like they say, Inglewood or, or wherever they was filming that shit, they, they, them, them dudes didn't hang out like that. They wasn't easy. He did, but Trayton them wasn't no bug niggas, no. And you know, they couldn't hang that doodles on no banging tip back then. Niggas was too much red in that motherfucker. So when they did that movie, man, and they got Dre socking the nigga, come on, Dre, you asked me, when I took his 64 Chevy, this dude said, how do you like the car? Oh, I liked it. And when I gave it back to him, I gave it back to him on, on bricks. Here, get this shit out of my yard. Do you remember that time when you broke down, Bob, and I can see a push in the 64 in the police car, and I push it down by Yep, I broke down, down that motherfucker all the time. Hell yeah, I get it was it was raggedy. It was raggedy, but I shit, I had it I had it gone. Got a lot of girls in that motherfucker too. Uh, no, it was, it was so probably one of the biggest songs out there. But um G thing. Um and thanks for correcting me, Ghost Town. The movie was actually uh, uh, uh straight out of comedy. Yeah, that that movie was sad. They they did their wrong. Those dudes wouldn't get down like that and and that just make the whole Compton, every Bloods and Crips look, look like just, that shit was raggedy. That shit was raggedy, and they shouldn't have never did that. It was told from a Diddy perspective from um, Chicago, you know. Uh, it was told from a guy from Chicago, you know, the nigga LB right there was around for a little bit. Yeah, yeah. straight out of Compton was whack. Straight whack. Talking about the fact that it was doing like um, you told us that you saw, and, I, and I'll talk a little bit, I'll let you clarify it. You saw the south side in the car, in the car, and pulled up in front of 12662. Okay. Yeah. But, uh, and then you, you, somebody said, uh, and I don't remember this part, but one of my guys that's really good, uh, can explain, he said that you said that you called Buttry and told him, hey, the south side just rolled by. I, I just want to clarify, did you make that call, and is that what happened, or did you, did you say that? No, well, I, I don't believe, but I know was, every set was out there, you know, and you didn't know what had went down at, at the MGM, because like, none of us had the... No, 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 wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Okay, this, the, before we even, everybody even went to Vegas, it was a red alert. That's a, that's a lie. 
everybody knew what was going down with the South Sides and all of that shit. Now, when, exactly, exactly. So what happened at the MGM just put gasoline on the shit. It was only cracking from there. When you saw them in the car, that's what they call gang? I mean, call uh, call bunches? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Well, see, they was, I'm, I'm thinking these, all these niggas, because it was Crips at 662 that night. Yeah. All kind of motherfuckers was up there. Yeah, so, Oakland, Atlanta, dude. Yeah, so it wasn't, it wasn't like, it wasn't like, okay, y'all just did this and them niggas were, were wolf. No, they came, like, when it was just, people were just, Coming and standing in line. See, people, I mean, if I can give you my vision of it, just picture you standing on the sidewalk, and the sidewalk got a number of people all the way down with this hole right here, and they trying to come through. I'm, I'm in front of the parking lot, me and, God damn it, I don't know, it's a long time ago. Me and one of, me and one of the little homies, so anyway, when they pulled up, I said, they're going to the south side right there. And they, they sat there. But there were so many police out there pulling up. Because, you know, when the police came while we was getting this shit together, you know, the police came and was saying we couldn't do it. We couldn't open up at first. And then uh, after that, they were going to skirt it out. They skirted it out. And 662 cracking like a motherfucker now. I mean, I'm charging 70. I can say it now. I'm charging 75, 85, 95. For, 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 man, I'm no, I'm taking them to the side of the back, and and, and I was not, not it wasn't on you, that was on sure. Why you, hey, motherfucker had to get his, motherfucker had to get his money some kind of way, and then uh, yeah, but, but man, y'all was already getting paid, y'all was already getting paid. I wasn't even on that. I'm gonna get mine, so we was getting it. So uh, no, Lil Nato. That's who was with me, Lil Nato. So Don't we, we. Nah. Here I come. Yeah. So it, I mean, you know, man, that shit is so like old. Everybody keeps saying, "Who killed the man? Come on, man. We already know that." They took this with this one. They think they're gonna solve the case. Well, you have some people that will think they're gonna still solve the case, and then they want to try. It's already solved. And then, and it's already you know what? This, this form right here, that's what you got a lot of new people, but the 85 to the 90 percent of people that tune in on Ballpark know that. Uh, we believe the Greg Kading theory. That's what we yeah. Uh, but you got newcomers, you got other. I mean, Bob, you and Jay, you wouldn't believe that there's forms out there that got 20 to 25,000 people out there to believe this topic is not, it's not dead. Yeah, that's because Shug, that's because Shug started that. Yeah, I know, I told him that. And he shouldn't have started that. But then he put a spark at the end. Yeah, but, the end. man, he knew the difference. He knows the difference. So, yeah, that was a little funny game thing with him. But he should have started that. And, but, but I thought, too, because when everybody went to the hospital, and, and they came from the hospital back to 662, oh, no, he good. So, I mean, suddenly it was turning it up. Everybody was partying like, yeah, I we going to go up there at the, at the dance. So, you know, and we had all them people there. Shit, everybody was partying. Next thing you know, Tupac died. What? What? But I see on TV, they say he died six days later. How he died that night? Come on, Rich. I don't know. He didn't die that night. He didn't die that night. They said that, they said that night Tupac died. The night of the 662. Everybody was out there. And exactly. So, I, I mean, it was from the beginning. But, I mean, man, that was that was so, so, so long. I mean, that's just like trying to solve some John F. Kennedy shit. And then tell me what Jimmy Hoffa had. Come on. But. Everybody got the real scoop. The real scoop, man. Oh, uh, okay. Um, I ain't gonna go into that. So let, let me ask you this: since you're not open that door, because I know some people will be doing sound bites off that tomorrow. What's your opinion? Do you think Tupac? Do I think he? No, I think he did. Okay. Right. Uh, 
I mean, I wouldn't stay dead 20 years. I mean, at some I point, come back. Sure, go to jail now. You can go on and do what you want to do. Resurface and say, fuck it. I ain't pressing charges on whoever shot me. I, I mean, yeah, I mean, he ain't got to stay there that long. Especially after his mom's gone. I mean, mom's gone. Ain't no reason to stay there. So. Okay. I just had to ask that question. Uh, I don't want nobody. Uh, James, well, James, uh, no, I don't know. They can't lie on me and say I'll say that dude's still alive. I'm going to say he did. Yeah. Uh, I don't want to say it like that, but uh, yeah, I, know. I mean, you know, a lot of people, a lot of people, you still got all this speculation and all everybody speculating on what this dude is doing and where he at and he, he coming back Machiavelli. No. No, he gone. Um, I'll ask this question. I don't know if the question is just controversial or the situation or not, I don't know. But um, uh, Louis Carroll, which I know is kind of similar to you, he has a movie that's going to be the whole interview. But he wanted to know, do or, or don't you consider Pop as your mobile? No, I didn't consider him as no mob. He wasn't. He wasn't supposed to be from the mob. Tupac came in as he was an artist. He was one of Shug artists. I mean, everybody turned into the mob. Snoop Dogg man didn't turn into the mob. He didn't have to be from the hood. And then just because you got money, don't make you no no gang member. Especially from from this right here, how we had to get down and 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 all the homies that we lost. I mean, I had brothers over here dying my arms on the ground. And his little brother around the corner on the ground. So, I mean, we we lost so many people. Man, you don't earn that just because just you got fame and money. And and they brought him in, and then he was tatted and did it. And I said, and I said again, everybody else was good with it. I, I left it as is. So... I mean, no, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't think he was from the mob. I didn't, I didn't, it wasn't on what that mob like or nothing like that. No. Uh, Golden Child, and I don't know about this question because I, I did listen to that uh, interview that, um, that Timmy did, you know, that he did. Um, uh, so he must have talked about it on that. So they asked, uh, Black Jesus says, a fiend had a tombstone in her home before two if, if Timmy said that, I have no clue. I didn't go there. I wasn't there, and I can't. I can't elaborate on that. I don't. I don't know. Okay. I don't know. Okay. Nick Bone played basketball, football, everything. 
He played everything. Uh, I my first time meeting Nick Bone is well, seeing Nick Bone. I was in Las Virginias, man, and he was the biggest cat in the in the goddamn juvenile hall system. And I was like, damn. But then he was in the hood, so he like from here. 